when you think about the younger you, um, so we've talked about leadership in terms of you being adult and formal and people managing, but, but I'm sure you demonstrated leadership earlier. And um, do, you, do you recall any particular experiences that if you were to look back on them now, they were probably part of like how you evolved um, as a leader to where you are now? Are there any interesting life experiences besides a war? <laughs> Yeah, for sure. So, uh, yeah, when I when I was uh, let's see, uh, uh, the Trevor Project, you know what mm-hmm. that is? Mm-hmm. I'm sure you do. Yeah. So I, I was a I was a health life counselor for the Trevor Project when I was in grad school, way before it was cool. So uh, really? this was back in 2008. Yeah, it's just uh, it, it, it just doing stuff like that really gives me a sense of purpose. Uh, so that, that that's where my leadership comes from, and that's I think what's always driven me. Um, is you know how, what can I do to what can I do for those around me? That that's really been something that I've strived to do. So I, I've done stuff like that through, throughout my adult life and even into my teen years. But as a, you asked me about leadership in my teen years, and as a teenager, I, I never was quite sure if I would be a leader. I had a very skewed image in my mind of what a leader was. Ooh, okay. So in my mind, yeah. So. This comes from growing up in a, which is not not a good thing or a bad thing, but you know we, we grew up in a, in a heteronormative word world, and in my mind I always equated being a leader to in a sense being being like a be a man, that kind of thing, and you know while while I do identify as male, I feel like that's an intrinsic part of who I am. Uh, being a man for me, I see that more as like a, as a performance, as kind of a, a role per se. It's it's kind of like. A, being a man means that you're putting on this like armor and you're going out there and 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 i think later on in life i realized over uh over my experiences that for me being a leader meant taking off that armor and actually just being authentic and allowing myself to be vulnerable and really taking courage and just speaking my truth so my version of leadership and how I, how I am today is kind of very different than the idea of what I thought a leader was when I was a teenager. So I think there's a lot of value in, in highlighting different kinds of leaders because we want to give, especially LGBTQ teens, we want to give, let them know that uh, there's someone like you uh, that, that, that is a leader and uh, it helps give them a voice and it helps, uh, what can I say, it empowers them. Okay. Does that make sense?